Little Kitty Size. You ever feel like there's something missing in your life? Well, I've got the answers for you. Vocal chops, bro. You can easily turn your beats from fucking mid garbage to Grammy nominated. On a real note, though, I like to give my beats like a sort of like human feel. And I just use vocal chops to do that. But you can use any method you want. So for this vid, I'm gonna show y'all three examples examples of vocal chops that I've made and after we're gonna make our own and I'll show you the process look so exhibit one this loop is called distant voices and will be in a free loop kit that I will be dropping when I hit 6k so be on the lookout for that so first where you get your vocal samples from is literally just up to you I choose to use more Japanese sounding ones just because I like how it sounds for this instance I used Vocaloid Vocaloid could be a tutorial on its own so we're not gonna get into that maybe I'll do one in the future this is the Vocaloid pattern I made it it's, it's honestly just a bunch of nonsense. We're really not just going for the tonal things since we're gonna chop it up later. It does not make no type of sense. After that, I put this sample into Free Slicer. I always use this. First thing I do with this is click this right here and turn the slicing to beat so it gets everything timed right. Then I like to turn these attack and decay a little bit up so it doesn't click and turn D-click on as well. And to make your stuff sound extra choppy, do this envelope thing right here, you do this for 808s as well. And then you can just get the making a pattern. Alright, this is the pattern that I came up with. You can just basically go crazy here. Just make sure it's cohesive and repeats a lot so it's easy for the listener to just catch the melody. Pretty simple stuff, but it's all about the sample choice and the catchiness of your vocals. Another technique that I like to use is to put auto-tune on the, the chops that you made make sure it's in the right key and everything or just make it chromatic and mess with the pitching of the notes that you have just like your drum sounds you can edit these as well and once you put the auto tune on it it'll always sound good just start messing with the pitches that's how i came up with this lower note right here and this is it with the loop right exhibit two is this beat called chat box and a sample of this will be in my free loop kit as well. All right, so for this technique, I actually used a acapella from this song right here from the Your Name album by Red Wimps. This is what that sounds like. Now here's when you kind of need to watch out because obviously this will be copyrighted. If you're just making stuff for like your personal projects or SoundCloud, it wouldn't really matter. But if you're gonna start selling beats and selling loops with these vocal chops on them, you're gonna get in trouble once it comes to the legal stuff. So just try to avoid this method if you're actually trying to get these placed. That's why I'm putting this in my loop kit without this sample. All right, so after getting this vocal sample, I put it in Guess what? Pretty slicer yet again. This is gonna be a lot of re me repeating myself. So again, the same things here. The envelope and the attack decay and the click on. And I came up with this pattern right here. And with this, I didn't really do anything with the pitching because every note sounded kind of good on this. And you can basically just, just go crazy, man. You can literally just record this as well and chop it up again in, in Slicer, which I've actually done a lot. I also put a bunch of effects on it, like Lil Alter Boy to make it sound pitch shifted. Parts like right here where it's pitch shifted up. Another important thing is if you're making it a beat specifically for an artist, if your chops sound too loud or are too overbearing in the beat, your artist is just gonna be like, what is the reason I'm gonna be on it, you know? So make sure your chops mix in well with the rest of your instruments going on. And this is what it sounds like. Alright, so last example. This is a good example using one shot. So this is the one shot in question we are using. This is from my 5k vocal stash. Shameless plug, I'm sorry. This is the pattern I made with it. One thing I just love about using one shots is the fact that you can just slide your notes. Usually with serum and stuff, you're kind of limited to the portamento feature right here and can't really do much else with it. So one shots give you a little bit more freedom of that. Also, another thing I like to do is pan my notes. So select select all your notes right here, press Alt R to randomize the panning. And it'll make it sound very spacious. This loop actually has another vocal chop, which is a little bit more simple, which is also in my 5K vocal stash. It sounds like this. 
and it just complements the other shop like this. And this is what it all sounds like together. So after going through these examples, we're ready to make our own chops right here. We're gonna be using this loop metropolis right here, which is gonna be in my free loop kit as well. And let's see what we come up with. Mm -hmm. 